Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I have a shaker card project to share with you. I was digging through my old uh, dies and I came across this birthday cake. So it sparked an idea on making a sh birthday shaker card. So I used that and then I also used this paper. I love it. It's the uh, die cuts with a view and it's the uh, preppy princess stack. So I used that because it has all my colors in it. The pinks, the whites, and the greens. And so let me show you my card. Here it is. It turned out super cute. I like how the cake is on the outside. It is a, a fairly large cake, but it worked perfect for the front of my shaker card. The only thing I put on the inside was the uh, paper from the stack. And it's a beautiful paper. And then I added my sequence bits in there. So uh, then I cut out this birthday wishes with my curio and ran it through my little Xyron, which is this little sticker maker and adhered it to the acetate on the front. So that is super cute. I paper pieced the cake into different layers with the chocolate uh, for the main cake and then just decorated it with the other paper from the stack. So it's a beautiful stack. And then I did make a um, shape card with one of my dies and I cut two pieces of this scallop shape and then what I do to attach the two pieces to make it into a card is I'll just score it at the top and glue this top portion to the front piece and that way you're able to open it. So that's my card. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly how I made the frame and I just got two of my rectangle dies and then I just positioned them on my paper like this with the large one and then the next one down and ran that through. It didn't leave a very narrow border and I had to cut my foam tape. Here's my foam tape. You can see all the little extra pieces I had. But I had to cut that down in order to make it fit on the thin edge of this shaker border. You can go down another step for the uh, uh, shaker or the um, dies and make a thicker border. It does have make the opening of your shaker a little bit smaller, but I think it'll still work. I'm going to uh, give that a try on my next card. That's This is the only set of rectangle dies that I have. Uh, so I had to work with what I have, but it still came out adorable, I think. And there you go. I hope you enjoy this project for today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate you for watching. And take care.